Hi America, this is Sherry Clark with Kitchen Techno. My daughter Michelle makes videos and so do I. Today we're going to be making a butternut squash soup. First I'll turn the thermal mix on and then we'll talk about the recipe. Um, one day my husband and I were over in Highland, Utah and we stopped in at the Blue Lemon where we had a wonderful bowl of hot butternut squash soup. I noticed a unique flavor to it and because my grandma and my mother taught me to cook by taste, I was able to identify the taste that was so unusual, that was so delicious. It was the winter time, it was snowing, and I just loved this soup and I knew I could go home and duplicate it. So the unusual ingredient I'll identify as we go through the recipe. We're going to use 500 grams of butternut squash. Remember when you peel the butternut squash that you do it with a potato peeler. It's really easy to peel the butternut, then cut it in half and de -seed it. Make sure that you cut it in uniform slices because you want to be able to cook it evenly within the time of the recipe. We're going to be using 600 grams of chicken stock. I prefer just using the chicken stock because it's easy for me and when you work and you're busy, it's just something that I prefer to use. However, it's just fine to use 600 grams of water and use a granule or um, your cute chicken stock and you'll get the same perfect results. We're going to use one carrot. A carrot from the garden is lovely, however it's snowing outside, it's cold, I didn't happen to have any, but I have these delicious little carrots because we just had grandchildren over yesterday and had a relish tray, so I'm going to use what I have. We're going to use a small or medium onion chopped up and that will be used all put in the thermal mix at one time. Um, the secret ingredient that was so delicious was brown sugar. And this is totally optional. I noticed in Europe they don't like things as sweet as we do in America. I use between two and four tablespoons. It depends on whether the squash is really fresh and just coming out of the garden when it's really sweet or whether it's winter time like it is here. It's not as sweet when we're importing the butternut squash as when we get it out of the garden. So, um, shh, I'm going to use a little bit of brown sugar. Again, between two and four tablespoons. That depends on your sweet tooth. We're also going to be using some nutmeg, about a fourth of a teaspoon, or however much you like in your soup. Okay, we're going to start with are 500 grams of butternut squash. And let's see, let's hit our weight and tear it out. All right. This is about one half of a nice size butternut squash. We're a little bit shy of that, and so I'll put a little bit less chicken stock. Again, it is what it is. You just learn to cook with what you have. So I'll add three carrots. I'll tear it back out again. This is the equivalent of a carrot. And because I have a little bit less butternut squash, I'll just add a little bit more carrot to it. The equivalent of an onion. chopped up. I'm going to add two to three tablespoons of brown sugar. I like it a little bit on the sweeter side because it's winter time here and the squash isn't as uh, sweet as it would be right fresh out of our garden. Okay. And some fresh nutmeg. This is a microplane, and you can get them from all of your gourmet food stores. You can find them in, in America in places like Home Depot. And I like to just grate it fresh. And having used this so many times, I can kind of guess by gosh it. Um, you may want to go ahead and grate it out and then measure a fourth of a teaspoon. Okay, that's about
about enough. That was a whole nutmeg, and that's about mm, a third of it, which will give you about a fourth of a teaspoon. Again, remember I've been cooking for a family well over 50 years. So after you cook so many years, then you're kind of used to it. Again, I'm going to tear this out, and I will be pouring a little less than 600 grams because I didn't quite have um, 500 grams of squash. Okay. It's wonderful to be able to have the scale on the thermal mix so you can just weigh as you go and you don't have to pre-weigh anything and have an extra step which would be the scale. You can just weigh right as you go. Okay. Now this is just a little shy. It's 550 grams. I was short a little bit so we're, remember I can always add more if it's a little bit too thick but you can't add less. So um, you don't let things like this worry you. It isn't a perfect science. If it's too thick, add more liquid. If it's too runny, oh well, you're just gonna love it anyway, okay? And at the end of this cooking cycle, I'm gonna add another little hint that will make this so delicious. So wait until we get to the end and watch and see what I do to this that just makes this absolutely dynamite. One more little secret ingredient. So I'm gonna put my lid on and we're going to cook this at 100 degrees. Now this is on the metric system. Oh, I've got time, let me go. Sorry, just a second, let me take this over to 100 degrees. Okay, it's going to go for 20 minutes. It's amazing to think that we can just do this so quickly. And it's going to, let me go ahead and let's talk about this right now. Let's put this on reverse, reverse speed, okay? And it's going to go on spoon stir. Spoon stir. Now, we just let this do its thing and I'll be back with the final step of our soup. Okay, we're finished now. So we're going into our final step. Now this is a time when you want to be really careful when you're checking to see if it's done. It's hot. It's been cooking for a long time. If you have a protective glove or a hot pad, now's the time when you need to be using it. You always want to make sure that you take it away from you. Take it just a little ways up. Let the steam come out. Take it away carefully. Take your lid. Take it away. Let's take a look. We know that we want to take down any onions or anything on the side, scrape down, and let's check and see. Ideally, I'd have a fork here, but the spoon works. Okay, you're done enough. So, the next step now is to put the lid back on. This is our final step. And we're going to turn it back up to 100 degrees and we're going to cook it for one minute and slowly take it up to speed nine. This is going to smooth it out and make it perfectly smooth, delicious, and we're going to hit it with our final ingredient. Oh, I forgot to tell you what we were going to do. Oop, off comes the lid for just a minute. Let me go ahead and tear it because I cook after so many years, over 50 years, by guess by gosh, but you probably will want to know what I am doing to this thing. So let's tear this thing out. And I'm just going to hit it with a little bit of cream. Shh, I took the calories out of it. But you don't need to do this. This is optional again. Okay, I'm just going to hit it with just a little bit of cream. Not that much, and it's optional. You could use a little bit of milk if you wanted to, but when you're having something so delicious and it's special, it's cold outside, it's been snowing all day long, and we don't have this that often, 
Um, if it were summertime and I had a lot of it, then I probably wouldn't hit it with that much cream or maybe not at all. But once in a while, when you want it, something delicious and it's special, then I'm going to hit it with some cream. Shh, I took all the calories out. All right, back on goes the lid. 100 degrees. Okay, wait just a second here. Let's take this up to 100 degrees. And it's going to be for one minute. Okay, and slowly we're going to take it up to speed nine. Okay, slowly up to speed nine. Okay, this is time for tasting. Now, I already know that I'm going to want some salt and pepper in it. awfully good. Mm. I think I will. I think I'm going to put about uh, perhaps between a fourth and a half teaspoon of salt. Okay. And some fresh ground pepper. Just a nice big pinch because we like pepper. I'm going to add another pinch of ground of brown sugar. Just another pinch of brown sugar in it. Because that squash wasn't as sweet as I thought it would be. And shh, just a touch. That may have been a whole tablespoon. Now, perfect. Just going to stir this in. Okay, let's set this for about uh, 25 seconds. Don't need to worry about the temperature. It's fine, it's hot enough. And I'm just going to stir this. You know, about speed five, six. <laughs> Again, away from you, let the steam out. Let's take a look at our soup here. One last taste. The clean spoon I have right back here. Okay. Perfect. That's delicious. That salt really added just exactly what we needed. Okay. I'm going to take this to the table where I have a delicious tossed salad made and I made the dressing in the Thermomix. It's a beautiful Italian dressing. It was so simple in the Thermomix. So we have our beautiful butternut squash soup and a beautiful tossed salad right here. And who could ask for anything more? Okay, America. Let's Thermomix. Thank you for being with me. Let your skills grow with Kitchen Techno. Hi, Michelle in Phoenix. I miss you, sweetheart. I love you. That daughter of mine is terrific. Bye, America. See you again. Bye-bye.